this twice tonight. There you go. <laughs> Looks like I need to get the higher ground. Over there, flat cannon. Oh shit, he got up here. Fucking assholes. this part. This was tough for me the first time I played this. Oh yeah, and they can fucking ride on the rails too. Oh fuck, and they can electrocute the rails. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I need a gun. That's what I need. That'll do. I think in this area there's actually a rocket launcher somewhere around here. Oh shit. You're trying to kill me. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No. 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 Who <laughs> goes close? Oh, fucking fireman now. No scope that bitch. <laughs> Lay down. Ooh. Lay down. Alright. I'm gonna need these guys to Oh shit. Now. There you go. Can't see him. He's ducking and covering. Oh, look what I found. Angry stumps and extremely low in health deals two times the damage. Uh, I don't know. Let's take a look. Uh, what were they? Pants? Uh, I think I want to keep this yeah all right I think I killed everybody it was easier than I thought I mean I remember I don't know what I played it on the first time I played this though holy shit I just equipped this armor and leveled up twice that's awesome that's yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know what I did, but all my equipment's got upgrades now. Uh -oh. This part's not over, though. I know when I come back here, there's going to be more people here than the first time, I think. I think there's some stuff up there too. Get on this rail. Huh. 
Wrong way. All right. All right. Oh, can't you make this thing go faster? Oh, there we go. I knew there was a way. Uh, there's nothing up here. More guns, more ammo. Uh, let's go in here. Putting those lock picking skills to work. Let me see. It's done. Yep, found a box. I have trapped the atom in mid air. Colleagues called my Lutes field quantum levitation. All right, so but in fact, it was nothing of the sort. Magicians levitate. My atom simply failed to fall. If an atom could be suspended indefinitely, well, why not an apple? If an apple, why not a city? Ooh, unlock the vault of glass. I'm not going in there until I'm level 30. <laughs> if not an atom, an apple, that makes sense. I suppose in theory, if you can levitate an atom, you can levitate an apple. If you can levitate an apple, you can levitate a city. Flawless logic. Makes sense to me. Problem with that is, if you know anything about physics, there's the theory of uncertainty. Once you get to a certain you get this open? level of uh, smallness, you can't pinpoint down a an atom. They don't exist in the same place. That's part of string theory, though, I believe. There's something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Yeah, this is the way I'm supposed to be going. this got a new uh whatever these are called i forgot oh yeah return to sender is a good one <clears throat> that one is invaluable in the last battle i forgot which one this does oh it shoots back right yeah, I remember this. One of my favorite ones in the game. Press right mouse to drop magnet shield, magnetic shield in front of you. Hold right mouse to carry the shield in front of you. Okay. Anything good in here? Grab it. Good find, good find. I will take that. What are you looking for? All that looking, you ain't find nothing. You're useless. None of that. Uh, I don't feel like I need to buy any of this. Not yet, at least. I do need some machine gun ammo. I think it is, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me buy some of that. Sniper. First aid. Here we go. Appreciate it. I think there's another sniper. Sniper. 
Welcome back, Swoop. Oh shit. Damn, that sniper right there is a monster. Not as good as me though. Sniper, get down! Keep my eyes open for more. Any more? Sniper rifle. Now. On it. That doesn't. Okay, give me ammo. I was gonna say it better give me ammo. There we go. There we go. Oh, look, check the mailbox. There happens to be ice cream in the mailbox because that's where ice cream belongs. Oh yeah. I like to eat the apples out of the garbage can. <laughs> down here nothing of interest why does she think it's a good idea to sit down people are trying to murder us doing down here with these bad guys I should kill him for GP look at this what oh get out the way tonight 50 out of 80 against his political enemies he preaches mercy but 40 souls lie tonight dead in unmarked graves if a man was ever unworthy of grace, who would be my husband? But when I was beyond redemption, he offered it anyway. How can I deny forgiveness to, to one who with love granted it to me? Yeah, whatever. So from looking at this uh, scene, She's a tarot card reader. And I guess she did not give the future that they wanted. So they stabbed her in the back with their tarot cards. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, should I kill this dude? Too late. He's all right. I eh, guess not. Let's go, Elizabeth. We've killed enough people down here. Well, uh, come here. What? 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 What'd you find? What'd you find, doggy? What? What is she talking about? I don't see nothing. I think she's lying. Elizabeth, you wouldn't lie to me, would you? Or are you talking about this? Uh, there's nothing down there. Whatever. Let's keep it moving. Come open the door. Elizabeth. Look there you the go. Whirl. There you go. There you go. Done. <laughs> Yo. 
Yes, she is doggy. Yes, she is a B. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get it. What's this on the ground? Oh, that's the lock. Why is it glowing? I don't understand. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, found some more clothes. New boots. Killing an enemy from a sky. What's up with all these skyline ones? I don't care about those. Take care. What's up, gaming shizzles? What's good? Something on the ground. I just seen it glow. I was lied to. Hip hop hooray! Ho! More money. Give it here. All right. We're close to the end. Close, kinda. Probably about three fourths of the way done with this guy. If I had to make a guesstimate. Fireman. That was pretty fun. No, swoop left. He must have got disconnected or refreshed. It's not a real stream unless swoops in here. Watch another ad on Battlefield Hardline. Right. <laughs> Dude, it is everywhere. <laughs> Man, it is annoying. Like I, I don't I don't even think bad about the game. It's just annoying to see it. On every fucking commercial everywhere. Yeah, I figured you had to uh refresh so Oh man, there's so many places to go into. Open the door. New shirt, blood to salt. Enemies provide salt upon death. 40% of the time. That's interesting. Let's see what I got on now. I think I'm going to try that other one. Yeah. 
You don't like hard line suit? I don't like the fact that it's just Battlefield 4. Again. But uh, other than that, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Played the beta. This lie. I was playing this on PlayStation. And I can't aim more shit on the controller. From that day, no man truly called me comrade. Play like Destiny. I can play it's it. And I not have to be completely precise on every side. Did they take me as one of their own? Only blood can redeem blood. I know. I keep thinking about that dream that you had. New York on fire. There's something about it. What about it? Something about New York on fire. So much doom and gloom. Where are the happy times? If I remember correctly. What is that called in a story where the end is good, bad? Can't think of it right now. Not bittersweet, but there's a official term for it. Yeah, Swoop, you're right. It's not worth full price. I like it. Battlefield 4 is not even completely fixed. I can't see how they can sell another Battlefield that's the same Battlefield with different skins at full price. But you know what? That's why I don't buy that shit. And that's kind of the reason why I'm completely uh, satisfied with playing just on Linux too. Because a lot of the AAA titles are fucking r broken. They're ripoffs. And that sort of thing. So I'm not even really missing out. You're right, it is insulting. It's insulting to the people. It's insulting intelligence. But then again, some people are stupid. Seems like the box have chosen their favorite color. Seems about right. Uh, this part. Alright. This part here. This is for the miracle child. Hello. I'm sorry your mother, Lady Comstock, is dead. I think she is altogether better than mine. <laughs> Since you weird. live there, can you tell me why the tower has been closed? People say it's poor weather, then the pox, then a haunting. If it is a secret, I promise not to tell a soul. Your pen friend, Constance. Yeah, uh, it's insulting, but the problem is, is people keep eating those games up nonstop like fucking sheep. Lady feeding on grass. <laughs> Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. <laughs> I see you saw Zeo Fox's uh, video today. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So to stream for the win. I like the how he did it. He did it only in 720p, but it was at 60 frames per second. It's noticeable. Yeah. It was noticeable enough for me to have to go check to see how many fr uh, frames per second the video was. Yep. Bec because it looks distinctly different. I'm not sure if he shot that one with his cannon or his point and shoes. I know he's got two cameras. It had to have been the cannon. Yeah. 
because in part of the video he's slightly out of focus. Right. I'm glad to see he finally got his monitors. He's been off his main rig for a while. Yeah, we should be uh, we should be getting high to greet tonight. He said he's most likely gonna stop by. So that'd be cool. That's cool. You're right, Swoop. Most people uh, most people don't pay attention to what's going on in the gaming market. They uh, see new game. They run down to the local store pick it up and play it or download it <clears throat> they don't pay attention to the news what's going on this and that just like any other market so even if the smart the people who are informed were to stop buying it the majority of the people would still buy it because they have no idea what's going on Tell you what, I'm glad I read some news like after the crew release because I was all about that game, man. I saw a couple of people play it like yesterday. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Yeah, I played the beta and I was like, this shit sucks. Driving is, is so arcade ish. It's not even good arcade ish either. Right, it's not like Sega quality arcade ish. <laughs> Ready. I'll tell you what, I'm waiting for Project Cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. There's the that is gonna be awesome. My mother's buried. It's been delayed again now. Not surprising. I say take their time though. My dear brother, these holes in the thin air continue to pay dividends. I know not which musician you borrow your notes from, but if he has half the genius of the biologist I now observe, well, then you are to be the Mozart of Columbia. This is Fink's brother, I believe. I'm so impressed with this port. Um, I haven't really found anything wrong with it. Seems pretty solid from what I've seen so far. Yeah. Ghost of uh, Lady Comstock. Come on. Oh, what are yeah. we looking for? I must have played it on harder than what I did last time because it, it's a lot easier than I remember. Or maybe it's just because I remember what to do now. Quick pause while I go get the coffee. It's done brewing.
And I'm back. There it is. There what is? Oh yeah, that. Destiny is being very kind to me today. I'm getting Found some money. It's always good when you have to grind stuff out. <sighs> you ready for this swoop? Gotta pay attention here. This is actually kind of cool. Lutis, Lutis. That is the uh, twins that we kept seeing. So the ones that keep talking about some weird shit. The, the man and the woman. They're supposed to be in there, but they're not. I don't think I ever figured out how to get in here. Oh, you're talking about that little mausoleum thing? Yeah. I don't remember either, to be honest with you. Pretty sure that gear in there is pretty good, though. Has to be. I wonder if you... Set this on fire, maybe? Shoot the picture, he says. Nope. Yeah, I was thinking about lighting those things. Oh, it lit. Yeah. What the fuck's going on? Oh. <laughs> uh. It's not working, another one. There we go. Fucking swoop. You're the man. Yep. Brittle skin melee targets briefly. Melee targets briefly vulnerable. Victim takes two times damage for five seconds. Uh, what the fuck ever. It would be useful if you get swarmed, but yeah, I'm just kind of meh. Oh well. Soup is a gaming aficionado. Here we go. Time to uh, get to the main part of this story. Why we're here. And I'm not going to bury Latisse, the Latisses suit because they are geniuses. And there you I kind of need them. But this is Lady Comstock's. Now pay attention. Listen. This is the What's freaky part. Grave? They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? She looks all mean. Look, she's missing part of her finger. Aww. You know, I didn't even notice she was missing part of her finger the first time I played this until it said it. It shows you, uh, at the end How of the are game. You, mother? Yeah, I nah. know. All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. She's so mean. 
I need you to calm down, Elizabeth. All right. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, here we go. What the fuck? Well, it freaked me out. I don't know about you guys. chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. What I do, Elizabeth. No. Sucking out our powers. If you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother. Oh shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? Elizabeth, are you alright? Where where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth? Why She's is crazy. Your a ghost? She's not. He he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. You would say it's cool. So first time I saw it, I was like, what the fuck's going on? Ah, this part was hard. I don't know if it's still gonna be hard. Yeah, it's still gonna be hard. Fuck. Seeing your mother is raising. The death. Oh, she's following me. No, leave me alone. What'd you say? Where's she at? Oh shit. That hurt. Where is this crazy lady at? Holy shit. What is she? What am I? My god. Is she the source of my power? But what is she? Because you like word shit sweet. That's what that means. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. Disagreeable. She finds being dead disagreeable. I think we would all find being dead disagreeable. Do it. Aye. I know, Swoop. That's why I said that. <laughs> need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Mm. Well, they're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I noticed. N no, you don't understand. She, she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. Why do these footprints go two different directions? How the hell can you go two different directions? It's not even possible. 
It's okay though. Saying grab the lockpick, but she ain't telling me where it's at. Oh, there it is. Thank you, young lady. You have been quite the help. with this sniper rifle. They don't even know about me. She went in here. Can help me out with this lock. Looks simple enough. There. What is this? The Latrice house. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I need right here. This is how you power some shit. Damn, look at these electrical cords. It's a tear. There's something in there. Should I open it? sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I do need that uh, Unreal Tournament headshot sound effect. That'd be cool. Seem, let me see, let me see, let me see. Seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraction. So, sexual reproduction can be de emphasized the traits of each parent. So it goes affect the multiple realities on her. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. That's what's wrong with the mother. All right, well that was informative. These people have been stalking me.
about her already. Achievement unlocked. Comstock has sabotaged our contraption. Yet, we are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But, my brother and I are together. And so I am content. He is not. The business with the girl lies unresolved. But perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead. <clears throat> Alright, what am I supposed to do here? Something must happen. And I don't remember what. Exactly. It's supposed to happen. Open the chair. You That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non existent. And Madame Lotas. The man is quite sterile. It's a lie. Come here, you little bastard! I want her out of my house! See that so she's not she has no parents. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection. Um I don't know. I don't know. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption. But I think she found that less believable than her delusion. Oh shit, I have a problem. Morning. What's up? You're live streaming, just so you know. What? How are you guys doing? Sorry, I said, I, just uh, on my headphones. I said you're uh, on live stream, just so you know. Oh. Alright. What are you guys playing? Ball shot. Playing some Destiny. I'm playing Tropicana. Tropico. Tro <laughs> Tropicana. <laughs> whatever. Tropico, Tropicana, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Tropicana <laughs> sounds more fun. Tropic yeah, oh, you must shit. be drinking some Tropicana, eh? <laughs> hey, Swoop, I'll be right back. Uh, for some reason, this game is eating up all the memory. That's uh, not good. Oh, there it goes. I don't have to. four viewers. That's awesome. Uh, I will host you, sir. I will, too. Even though he stole all my viewers earlier. <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing that lately. To oh, everybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I found another problem with this game. Besides the fact that it go rogue and eat up all your CPU. Uh, apparently, it will eat up all your memory, too. Uh, you don't need that stuff. <laughs> the game memory's been for poor people. Yeah, memory and <laughs> CPUs are poor people. <laughs> the game apparently has been running for four hours, and then it just started doing that. So Damn. maybe there's a memory leak. Slow but sure. You've been playing this whole time, or you, or no? Yeah. Jeez. You don't you didn't sleep? Team no sleep tonight or last night or what? No, I just woke up early. Oh. Oh yeah, I suppose you're early riser, I forget. You're eight, twelve kids you got. Uh, or is it did you have another one? I forget. Is it thirteen now? What are you talking about? <laughs> just about. Uh, can you give me that uh, powered by logo Linux? Or li powered by Linux logo? Uh, let me yeah. remind you. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh fuck. Hold on. Let me load into the game first since it's already started. Well, you can. If you, I've uh, shift or uh, alt tabbed. No, alt shifted. No, shift tabbed. No, I already know. Right in the um, middle of it loading. 
No, that's a bad idea. Uh, whenever it's whenever the game first initializes and you do that is the time that is most apt to die. So I let it load all the way first. Yeah. While I agree with you, I I I'm, I live on that risky side. You know, I'm a rebel, so I've actually done the the shift tab quite a bit when games first load. And, it, and the only reason I do that is so that I can quickly open Pabu Control and mute the game sound so that people's ears don't get blasted. <coughs> and I'm and I, it's like 90% of the time it's fine. And then there's depends that, on there the game. That 10% where this is an Unreal crash. Engine game, and if there's a I've done it, and it's already crashed on me. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Who is this guy? Latest music track. Somebody speaking remix. Epic none sounds. What? Just random tweets from random people. Okay. Um, are you Have you considered getting the uh, Tales from the Borderlands or Tales from the... I forget what it's called. But it's like a kind of little side mission. Borderlands or something. I'm talking about the people who made the Walking Dead series. I think. I, I, I don't know. Uh, not really. No, you're not going to get it? Okay. Probably not. Yeah, so, so the same people that or Aspire Media didn't port it? Or is it even available for Linux? It's not available for Linux. Okay. But those games, the Telltale games, work fine in Y. Okay. I played uh, Walking yeah. Dead in Y. remember which folder it's in. Oh, there it is. I wish my teammates would stop running up to this giant mechanized tank and getting wrecked. That'd be great. <laughs> that means you would assume they had some common sense. It is Xbox, though, so you know how that goes. Right. All right. It's on the G drive under miscellaneous. All right. All right. Back to the fun. She deserves whatever comes to her. Oh, it's a new drive. What the fuck? It, it, new drive changes everything what did again. you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't Welcome to the new drive. She's almost Organize your files with you. Click and drag files into a folder. It's like she's a reflection. Create new items quickly. Make uh, a new file or folder. I don't know. I don't know. Choose your view. Use grid view to easily browse your photos and images. Okay. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved oh, prophet. Okay. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion. Huh. I don't see it. What's it called? What's its name? Powered by Linux. It's under miscellaneous. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So is it artwork then? Or just miscellaneous. Just miscellaneous. You can pick this. Okay. Done. PC gamer podcast template podcast template podcast podcast podcast. Ah, powered by Linux. Hey, it's in the miscellaneous folder of virus. That's what I said. <laughs> New hat. Hellrunner's hat. Show break and increases movement speed 50%. That seems interesting. Let's see what we got on now. Decrease weapon reload times. Hmm. 
when shooting empty clips have 40 percent no 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 I'll keep this one so ooh, I got myself a streaming PC nice nice beaver gonna uh probably mess with it in a couple of weeks when I get a couple of days off I gotta do some Frankensteining and whatnot. Oh, okay. What uh, kind of hardware are you looking at? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna use the 8120 that I have now for the stream rig, and I'm gonna put the 8350 in my main. Okay. Pretty much it. I think I'm just gonna swap the graphics cards and the processors, and that's about it. Yeah, the graphics card on the newer rigs, like a Radeon 7770 or some crap like that. <coughs> that for the uh, stream rig. Oh, yeah. I'll probably upgrade it eventually where did to you, it. Yeah, where did you, did you just plot the components or you found them used from a friend or what, how, did, how did that work? Oh, I built a system for a buddy of mine a couple of years ago and he just needed to sell it really quick so I got it for like 600 bucks and it 1200 when he built it I think or when oh, okay. I built it. Yeah. But it's like brand new, like there's not a speck of dust in it. He only used it as a uh, media PC, basically. Oh my god, you spent $1,200 for a media PC? <laughs> yes. Yep, he said uh, specifically wow. don't get Let's an expensive see. graphics card. And I was like, alright, well everything else was top of the line then, pretty much. You know, on the AMD yeah. side, so. Sure. Oh, there was a Steam update. Restart the streams. Add the ability to chain lightning strikes from one enemy to others. That sounds cool. Oh, yeah. That one is cool. And... Go. Wait, wait, wait. How much money do I have? I love video game logic. Here, let me put these pants on and I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Increase the stun duration. Eh, I don't care about that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I might finish the game today. You know what? You should, you should do a series on your channel, uh, speedrunning video games. Nah, I'm not good at that. Soon to do it with almost every game you play. This is not speed running. I actually pick up all of the stuff in this game. I just don't linger around either. Yeah, true. Speed running is like a whole uh, class of its own. Oh shit, a fucking fireman. Yeah, he'll fuck you up, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. He's like, shit. I haven't died once in this game. Oh, really? Holy, holy cow. That is impressive. Oh, you gotta try 1999 mode then. I sure will. I've, I've started a game in it, but... Nice, Cyrus. That wasn't the part that I thought you were at. Or, uh, uh. But you gotta remember, I already played this game once before, so... Oh, you did, okay. I know, remember, I was playing... I played it before, right before you played it. Okay. I don't remember, sorry. Okay, I do have a question for you. Compared to your initial view of the game, now that you've got a considerable amount of playtime, what do you think of the port? Uh, besides the... Hold on. Fuck. Uh, yeah, so, besides the, the... The nagging points, which may be small or big, depending on how you feel about it. It's mostly, uh... The, probably the best port I've seen, as far as AAA titles go. I don't have a lot of uh, time in indie games, as much as I do. I don't know, AAA. But, uh... I can't think of a game that's better in the port. It's far more better than Borderlands as a port as ports go. 
um, while Civilization series was good, it had some performance issues. I've played this game, this is probably about 70% of the way done with this game, and I haven't had really one big, one major problem that I wouldn't have on any other system. The game has crashed, but sh games crash on any system. Uh, that memory leak problem, but let's not talk about Battlefield 4's memory leak problem. Right. <laughs> so, I can't, and I, I haven't had any, like, the frames per second is, is at V-Sync right now, 60. Because if you turn the V-Sync off, which is the, the nagging problem I told you about, it, I can get like 140, but the game just goes like mad and just kills itself. Uh, that, so, uh, depending on who you are, some people like V-Sync, some people do not like V-Sync. Really? So, like, yeah, basically, the, the, the gist of it is, this is the best port I've seen. Not to mention, it's like one of the best games. Right, but you're you're comparing a first-person shooter port when you said uh, Civilization, uh, comparative. But for the first-person shooter ports, from what I've watched on you and all that stuff, I, I, I could tell. Yeah, the game is a very good game and port uh, for the first-person shooters. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's one of the best ports I've played. And I have kind of weird hardware, so I have to be more careful. Yeah, but see the with thing on things will play. But the thing on Linux is, is unlike the Windows versions, is that you get a very large cross section of uh, uh, playability experience between hardware. So which what ha what's good for you might not be good for me, and vice versa. Yes, but I have two different rigs that have two separate sets of uh, hardware specs. So I, I have the ability to play a game on two different systems that are running two different sets of hardware. Uh, and I found there's only three games that I can play that were ported to Linux that I can play on both sets of hardware. And that's both of the Civilization games, which are my type of games. Uh, Tropica, which I'm playing right now, which plays flawlessly. No load issues. Um, and of course I'm using Mumble with it and messing with stuff. Uh, and I have it high all the way up on the on the AMD rig. It runs great, and on the Nvidia rig, it runs great. So I think it really just depends on preference. As for the first, I'm, I'm talking about I'm, I'm talking about technical aspects. See, with Civilization, I have these the caching problem. I would call it where it wants the frame rates are not steady there, and it. It doesn't seem to keep whatever parts of the map it loads in memory. So I move around, and then it's like it's trying to reload it again. So if you zoom in and zoom in and out, that uh that that will trigger that that loading. And it's wait, hold on. Why is this going this way? Uh yeah, so it triggers that, and it's uh well not game breaking, and it's not bad port. I just think this is a better port because I've had flawless performance out of it. No stuttering. No, fr uh, the frame dips are, meh. Uh, th they're they're there, but it it's not in places where you're like, fuck, this is killing me. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. It just depends on. I don't know what it depends on. On all the games that I play, this is the the most smooth smoothest experience I've seen. Uh, his experience can be totally different than your experience. Right, that's what I'm saying. And both people can be right. <laughs> so. Th yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, his no, hard I'm not. His hardware might, like, I've had issues with Borderlands, and uh, apparently Ubu has less issues, where Atomic has similar issues that I have. Uh, but uh, if you look it up online, Borderlands, the stuttering problem Borderlands, while not deal breaking, is kind of an annoyance. Right, and I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that. I totally agree with that. I mean, the the stuttering thing annoys the crap out of me. Yeah, um, me too. But even I get it. I get it on my AMD, or, you know, my AMD rig. My NVIDIA rig, not so much stuttering. But on my AMD rig, yeah, I, I get a lot of stuttering. Yeah, uh, when I had the 290X, it was noticeably more. But for somebody who, like, like 
So I judge games based on what I think they should perform at, at the level of the hardware that I'm using. So when I had a 660, I expected it to perform at that range. But with a 780 and a 3570K, like, there shouldn't be issues. <laughs> like, I, for the price of these games, the amount of games that they sell, and the fact that they're selling a, a, a product that needs to be supported, I don't expect there to be issues. And I don't think there should be excuses for them either. And this game, to me, has lived up to that fact, except for the V-Sync thing. But like I said, some people play with V-Sync on anyway, so it's whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ding it hard for that. Okay, I do have a question for you. Now, if I remember correctly, this does use that Eon wrapper. Is that right? I was just gonna say. That's true. That. Yeah, it does. And that that wrapper has been catching a lot of hell, and it seems like you've had good luck with it. Well, the Eon wrapper caught a lot of hell because of Witcher 2, and the and then if you take in the fact that at Linux, the people that run Linux, most people run Linux because it's a belief system. It's uh, it's why it's the way they think about what things should be. So there there's a certain amount of I'm not going to accept it because this doesn't fit into this system of belief. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people say, Eon, no, fuck that. Kill it. Kill it dead. Yeah. Glock says, Civ 5 has texture to decompression. But the whole, re yeah, the whole reason that... Yes, Glock, we're on Mumble. The whole reason... Well, he says, oh my god, are you on Mumble? I guess he has something to say. <laughs> I think this port's the most perfect, uh, the closest to the great perfect. I mean, goddamn, <laughs> that was all fucked up. This port is the closest <laughs> to the, uh, the best that I've seen. But you know, we we all have our own metric, though. There's no there's no real metric. Like we, we don't have no way to say this is uh, how we're gonna compare it. This is how. There's right. So there's only two games that use the Eon wrapper, so it's tough to do a true comparison or metric against another game. Well, I'm talking about all games, because because no, um, you know. um, Systrom said likes another port, and Glog says this port is not that great. I've had no issues with this game, and that's something I value highly. Right, right. I don't want to have to fiddle with settings. I want to turn this shit on and play, and that's right, it. Right. Yeah. And I, I wanted to say that. Uh, the reason that the Eon Rapper did get a lot of flack at first was, well, I think um, it could have been, I think this is one reason was because, you know, many people felt, uh, you know, why not contribute towards wine? If you're going to make a rapper thing, why not just contribute towards wine and get, get The Witcher 2 running in wine? Why make a totally separate proprietary rapper system, you know, uh, for the game? Well, and then I, the other thing, oh, just a second, let me just finish. And then, so the other thing that people disliked about The Witcher 2 at first was because it was damn near unplayable. You know, getting 5, 10 frames per second and on hardware that was capable, should have been capable of, you know, well above 60 FPS. And, you know, that was due to this, the, the, the way that the game was coded with... The, you know, just well, various things. I, I, I don't know all the text. There are technical. While all that's true, of it. while all that's true, the major complaint amongst Linux people was it's not a port because <laughs> Eon is not a it's not a porting system. It's a another abstraction layer system. Oh right. So that's what most of the people were complaining about is that why are you giving us this window shit? You're not even trying. Right. Right. Yeah, personally, I gave my opinion when that all happened, and it was basically, um, I'm of the opinion that if it's transparent and and the and I click the game on the desktop and the game opens and I can play it just fine, I don't really care if it's in Wine or if it's in Eon or if it's in some other wrapper or some weird tomfoolery trickery in the background. That's just my opinion, you know, and everybody obviously has varying op opinions on that whole thing. But if it's transparent and it just works and runs, then that's fine with me. Yeah, uh, I, that's what I like. 
I will bring one thing up. Um, recently, somebody uh, sent me a link to a video that's called Linux Sucks. If you haven't read it, or if you haven't watched it, it's worth yeah, the time. A, yeah, it's a good video. But I, I, I really agree with it because most people champion wine. I personally hate wine. Wine but sucks. It's because yeah. my experience with it is really, really bad. But I appreciate what they're doing because they're trying to make something more useful. By the same token, yes, I know a lot of people don't like the fact that what Eon is, but at least appreciate what they're doing. They are making more things work for Linux. Right, yep. Well, I mean, like I said, it's a philosophy, too. It's a belief. So if you're going to port a game to Linux, they, they think that it should be a actual port. Don't give us your shit ports and call it a Linux game. That's their that's their that's their standpoint. That's their angle. Uh, but seeing the fact that the game is like three or four years old, though, I really don't care. Now, if you if you release a game tomorrow and it's an Eon port, and I'm like, no, fuck that, keep that shit. Well, well, that's what that's what I like about Tropica Five and and the new Skyline game. That oh my god, seriously. Like, those two games are on Linux, they're brand new games, and they're freaking amazing, and they actually run really well. Yeah, we can discuss this. Skyline has huge performance issues, but that's probably more according to Unity. I, I don't know, I'm not having any issue on my AMD rig at all. Yeah, it's strange. It's the same for um, Bioshock Infinite. Um, many people complain about random crashes um, and so on and so on and to be honest I'm kinda need to say this port isn't done really well I tested it on three different kernels and there were three different behaviors from loading stuttering to problems with um, crashes real crashes um, to hang up my complete system, so yeah, it shouldn't never a uh, user space application should be able to crash my complete system, but it does it, and that's why I say, yeah, it, it does a good job in maintaining the FPS, even they are by a huge amount lower than on Windows, and we all right, so maybe we maybe might have an issue on Linux um, cause of better um, task switching so um, the loading always skews up the FPS so you can't prioritize one thread over the another um, when you do so um, basically the thread will take over so if you want to load something really really fast um, you want to prioritize it but in this case the frame drops so what to do uh, yeah, but that that has that has to do with the stack pipe when you're dealing with the Linux kernel, and depending on how the actual piping is working, because uh, under Windows it uses a linear pipe system. So when NT drops an actual application in the layer, it's not actually pulling it up directly at the kernel level. It's actually only pulling it up through the context of the actual layer for the application. So there. it has to actually make the the calls to the uh, DLL oh, shit. versus under Linux, which is actually making a call directly to the, either one specifically to the actual layer that's running on top of X, or it's actually making a call directly to the application outside of it. Yeah. That, that's something I want to mention when we discuss this part, so it's far from being perfect, and I'm, I kind of give, pro give props to MVP for doing a part which at least given a similar experience um, on Windows. For example, I have still shadow issues and so on and so on. So, yeah, um, I would totally disagree that this is the best part on Linux and I'm still not very, very happy about um, we, yeah, we port games by using another layer on top of already existing layers. That should be necessary. And that's something that's something I'm really disappointed about with um, with this Eon tech. And another thing I'm really disappointed with this Eon tech. There is 
no giving back to the community. Nothing. So they have a complete closed source software on uh, on top of Linux. Even the software already has a direct X, um, 11. Yeah, 11. Um, renderer, even this port has a real cool input system, something Wine would really um, get better if they could at least give that knowledge back, but nothing happens. Well, I, I, okay, but okay, the, the reason for What's the up, actual Ubuntu help guy. Oh, hold on real sec. Uh, quick. Um, it was a pain the first time I played this. Yes, it was a pain to kill Elizabeth's mother, but uh, this is the second time I'm playing it, and it wasn't a pain this time <laughs> because I, I knew what to do. All right, go ahead. Let's Okay, so uh, okay, so because we don't have something like say Wayland or something in place right now, and we're still using a a render layer that is over twenty years old, basically, or almost twenty years old now, uh, we still have limitations for it. So you don't really have a choice in the actual layer for the games to run in because they cannot make a direct call from the terminal and actually render. So you you have to be able to. Uh, kind of render into the engine that we currently have and Because OpenGL some OpenGL applications will run directly from the uh, from the basically from a CLL a CLI layer and Have their own rendering and that's fine But when you're bringing a Windows application over that depends on certain uh, calls and certain requirements you have to load it into an environment and then make X actually control your your output for your displays because because there's certain you know for your X render you, you have no choice you, you have to do that until something like say Wayland comes into play or or something replaces completely com replaces Zorg or or X11 or whatever you want to call it until that's completely replaced we're still gonna have these issues that we don't have a choice we have to have that input layer between the Windows applications and the Linux set, even if the it, kernel goes all kinds of whack. System, that wasn't what I meant. Um, we have Vine. Vine still struggles, uh, struggles up to today with X input um, abstract uh, abstraction. That's the right word. Um, we, with the X input abstraction, so you need a. Um, if you have an X input game like. Let, let's take Dark Souls, let's take um, Rage, let's take whatever. Um, you need an emulation inside of your bind bottle to make a fine X-input uh, translation N um, from direct input to X-input. Um, we P solved this with the Eon. The Witcher 2 works fine. Um, also, Bioshock Infinite works fine. Why not giving this knowledge? How to solve, how to make a nice SDL2 input system. Hey, because they, uh, hold on. Oh, okay, be hold on, real quick, Glide, uh you said you, you had problems with playing this game on Windows? No, I had huge problems with playing this game on Linux. Okay, because uh, I played it in Windows and it's my experience is exactly the same. Uh, probably minus a few window, uh, like, does this game have physics in Windows? Or does it have a physics now? I don't even know. I think it does. Hmm. Yeah, so basically, I'm happy that my experience is the same. I haven't had any crashing. I just did have a memory leak. Uh, well, shit, it's back at five, almost six gigs again. Uh, but other than that, no issues. I had huge issues with Cyrus, really. Um, my kernel basically crashed three times. Damn. Hmm. That sucks. And <laughs> complete kernel crash. I wasn't able to show the pits of the um, of the processes, so I couldn't kill the process with a normal kernel. I fixed this by going um, to a real-time kernel. Hmm. No idea. Which, uh, with the cave cat that of course um, the frames got um, down. And another point is that even with my fix now in place, so um, basically 
they seem to have some deadlocks when um, the threats doesn't answer in time. That's what I um, imagine. Um, so you want to reduce, yeah, you want to reduce the possibility that this deadlock happens. Um, you, um, I did it by just um, setting up the CPU governor performance so the CPU governor couldn't switch um, the frequency between um, maybe timed operation in time, uh, inside of the um, inside of the threads. So that's but what I assume. I can't say for sure, but it fixed it at least for me, so it's playable um, and kind of stable for me. Um, many other people experience this too. They work around by just using one CPU core. So, yeah, is that the solution? Is that really a good port? No. Um, whatever, whatever. Uh, so, what is a good port? I think, for me, honestly, the better ports are Borderlands 2 and. Yeah, see, and I had XCOM huge issues with Borderlands. And Civ uh, 5. Why are they better ports? Because if, if they are, is a bug. Um, it usually um, happens to all people. So, all people um, can say there is a problem. This is a um, this a port uh, behaves different on different PCs, and that means that neither the QA wasn't um, really good, so they don't test it in different configuration. Or and that's what I believe most they optimized for just one specific configuration. And. To be honest, this game isn't even able to um, to keep 60 frames on my machine on Ultra. Ultra. I wonder why that's different for you than it is for me, because you have a 970, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So I have a 780. That means you have a Maxwell architecture. That's the, that should be the the biggest difference, I guess. Uh, because mine is completely steady, rock solid at 60. M might might probably be, but um, I also have graphical issues. So, for example, um, for example, some shadows pop in and pop out, and texture loading. Um, they use kind of lazy texture loading um, for bitmaps, and yeah, you see it in in inside of the game. And I really assume that. Um, that's uh, better. It's a typical sign that the CPU emulation, the Windows part, not the GPU emulation, but the Windows part, the Windows emulation inside of Eon, isn't able to um, keep up the times, the uh, frame times um, on my um, CPU, and that's what um, what sucks. It just sucks. It's yeah. this emulation layer. Um, not related to the GPU, not related for the drawing, just this emulation la layer on top of Windows where you make IOs, where you calculate your stuff and so on and so on. This, the stuff <coughs> should be done native. My honest opinion. Hold on just a second. Yeah. Uh, Ubuntu oh. help guy. Uh, that's cool that you find this interesting. And yes, we do have a podcast already. <laughs> Uh, it's not this in depth for sure, uh, but uh, yeah, we do have a podcast. Uh, I think it's somewhere in my. Is it in my profile? I don't know. It should be. Uh, I think you have okay. them on your YouTube channel, Osiris. What? The podcast. No, there. Uh, it has its own YouTube channel. Oh okay. Well, and it also has its own website. Yeah. So, yeah oh yeah. There website. you go. Linux Tech yeah. Gaming. Dot com. <laughs> every Wednesday, every Wednesday, you go to that website. You can watch it live. It's there. You should do that every week. I'm sorry. Hey, we have turned your stream into Linux Tech and Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I've been playing for um, four, almost four hours now. So I'm, I'm running out of steam. Anyways, you guys have uh, reinvigorated my energy. <laughs> and maybe. Uh, Everyone introduce himself a little bit, cause not all um, people here are part of the podcast. Right, you guys do that while I go get coffee. 
Okay. Anyway, uh, what's up? Reviews by Gary. Thanks for stopping by. In order, in inside of Mammoth, so Chris, you start. All right. I'm a Chris Dude on TechTube. You can find me on Twitch at Chris Dude on TechTube and also on YouTube at Chris Dude on TechTube. I do uh, a weekly to bi weekly tech podcast, and the most recent one I did had Linux Tech and Gaming. So you should go check that out. Yeah, my name is Block78. Uh, I'm usually around everywhere. Um, I'm kind of like a hidden person. Um, not so active in inside of the podcast community, but try to help whenever someone asks me something. I'm Sistrum. I uh, usually hide around the background also. Uh, I'm usually technical advisor whenever there are questions or issues. Boat? Oh, I'm just a general enthusiast, so I, I just stay for the commentary. <laughs> cool, cool. Oh, I, I was gonna. Atomic isn't here. Uh, Ubuntu. I think Ubuntu should. Uh, hello. I am Ubu, the tech guru. Also known as Ubuntu Addicted. I am my co-host on Linux Tech and Gaming podcast. Uh, I've been. I'm just kind of the utility person. Uh. Where there's a will, there's a way. I don't let anything prevent me from trying anything in Linux. I, you know, I tend to break stuff on accident because I you often do before I read or fully understand. And that's where Systrom and Glog and a bunch of other technically uh, savvy people, more so than me, uh, jump in and, and save the day. <laughs> so, yeah. I have a gaming, you know, a YouTube channel, uh, tech kind of gaming channel, uh, you know, the Hitbox uh, stream and uh, a blog and pretty much all the social media uh, stuff under at Ubuntu Addicted. Okay. System, you wanted to say something, I think um, all who are here introduced themselves, so go on. Oh, okay. I actually, I was going to ask you, did you check on your uh, kernels to make sure that the LTD had been patched? Because uh, I know in the 64-bit kernels, they were having some buggy issues with the LTD empty. Um, yeah. That was causing uh, basically CPU lockups because of it. Um, as far as I know, it's patched everywhere. Um, the main kernel from Arch Linux should be patched. The real-time kernel from the AWR... Uh, UR should be patched too, and uh, um, PA kernel um, I'm using is still an old kernel without this bug. It's in 3.40. And s s sadly, this was this um, stable kernel, besides, um, puts out your seem to um, stop working after a certain amount of time, so you need to kill it and restart it. Um, I don't know why they basically updated Arch Linux to Pulse Audio 4, uh, 5, and I had huge issues with Pulse Audio 4, so I was staying with 3, and Pulse Audio 5 seems not to be very stable um, on certain configurations, at least for my experience. Thank you, Soup. Soup's yeah. the best moderator in the world. He, he, he wow, went... that's pretty big news. I didn't realize that Pulse Audio went to 5. Yeah, Ren, and that's why I've been having problems recently. Uh, what were you saying, Osiris? He's the best moderator because why? Because he's Soup, first of all. <laughs> Second. Well, that is a given. I know that. And then uh, he went ahead and posted the link to the Linux Tech oh, and Game website. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks, Soup. You're the man. I remember this part. Okay. I will be quiet for a moment. I need a special moment for myself in the private room. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't translate to English very well. <laughs> oh, He's talking about the mumble, uh, the mumble private room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on. I could say I need to go piss, but... Hey, <laughs> <all> <laughs>
Uh, it's, to, it's all right. This is this is not a PG yeah. stream, anyways. Right. <laughs> so if you gotta go to the loo, go to the loo. <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody up to today? Anything out of the ordinary? Oh, I'll probably crash after Maybe. I get done playing this because I've had way too much coffee and been up way Designing. too early. And 3D printing their own uh, quadcopter, maybe? Mm. Or, uh, I don't know, building computer cases out of extra little and tile that you have? That sounds pretty cool, though. Yeah, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just making up stuff. So yeah, I'm wondering what the hell you were talking this. about. Something interesting did happen to me a minute ago. It looks like my Xbox One has completely died. I mean, straight up just stopped working. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, I just got the damn thing. I only even have like 40 hours on the console itself. Uh, did it red ring? Wow, that's fucking no. horrible. No, it didn't red ring. No, my, but, uh, Microsoft yeah. was sure to not put in the red ring again. Right. Even if they changed the colors, they're like, okay, we're not doing the red ring again. Yeah, it's like, we'll, <laughs> we'll try not to go cheap what? on the heat sink this time. <laughs> yeah, I think it was more so not really, it was the design of it, not so much that it was cheap. Actually, you could fix the 360 by just uh, putting better paste on it. Right. I've, I've done and, it. Well, and, yep, yep, I know. And, uh, there was some other little trick as well to ensuring that it was, uh, you know, remained affixed to the motherboard. Whether that was like putting in little spacers or something. I forget what it was. Well, the, the so main problem was that it would overheat and then it would bend the board, which would break some of the traces. Right. So if it did break the traces, uh, you'd have to fix that, obviously, to, uh, by soldering. Or you could preempt that problem by putting better uh, paste on it. And also, that, yeah, there was that bracket or brace fix that would I help I also. Know how I, can, uh, I think I know how I can fix mine. So what I'm going to do is, is go to Walmart and get my fucking money back. <laughs> I was just going to say, I know a way to fix it is uh, yeah. locate your nearest two-story, second-story window yeah. and promptly throw it out of it. No. <laughs> okay, I, I do. This is just kind of an observation. It, does anyone else find it comical that Osiris is doing a gameplay? Where he's got a woman constantly throwing him money. At <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> that is comical. That's awesome. Ironic and comical all at the same time. Um, you pick the perfect game. Yeah. <laughs> max out the salts, max out the salts. I know. And I was just going to say, um, I'm not a council hater. He cannot you know, be. I, I'm, uh, I know the prophet is a murderer. You know, I, more so the comments that I make about. You know, counsel. It's more so just to stay in with everybody because I'm a loner, so I, I feel like just repeating what everybody else monster. says. I'm I'm of the nature that, or of the opinion that you know, you play on whatever system you enjoy playing on, and that's it. That's the end, bottom line. You know. You know, just throwing this out there too. Uh, I am totally a PC gamer. Like this is my play thing. That you know. I'm a was. Now I'm gonna get rid of it probably. But <laughs> I'm a console hater because of their business practices. Yeah. Now? No, no, I've been, I stopped playing consoles about five years ago because of their business. Like, the Xbox Live thing just made me crazy. Are you trying to tell me what that I have to pay for the internet, then I have to pay you people yeah. to get on this internet? Are you crazy? You pay 100 bucks a month for internet. The last thing you want is another bill on top of that. To connect to the same internet, that, yep. to do the same things that I can do on my PC for free. No, thank uh, you. My last that, console I guess was that's true. awesome. It is I had completely a Genesis. True. Oh, the Genesis. Not a bad decision. That was a good, yeah. That was the only good thing console. better than the Genesis <laughs> is the Dreamcast. But yep. it didn't have the number of games. That's what hurt it. I emulate that on my phone. There that's go. pretty balling. Hell yeah. Uh, I thought this door opened. What happened? By the way, um, Osiris, you asked for a really good... Um, good parts, and I think we didn't talk about this. Most of the indie devs really put effort in their parts. Oh yeah, um, I, and, I, and I, yeah, you can go ahead, but hold on. Is, but let me uh, make make the point that uh, I did distinctly tell Sistrum that I'm not including indie devs in uh, oh. what I'm saying because I didn't play enough of them. I haven't played enough of them, 
and that's a whole different get ball game to me. Yeah, but um, we should probably mention that, and um, I come back to this later. So, for example, for me, the best game um, over the last few weeks were for sure Outland. It's smooth, 60 FPS the animation is great. The controls are on point um, with every controller we use so far. Besides, you might maybe um, reconfigure, and it's possible inside of the game. Um, another great game um, I highly advertise is um, Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, runs smooth on all systems I have seen so far. Um, RimWorld is probably more stable and um, more, um, even not more addicting, but on the same addicting level than um, City Skylines. And yeah, the list goes on. There are really, really, really many indie games which um, are highly um, yeah, with track greatly done on Linux. And so when I see this great, uh, the big developers and publishers um, basically throwing money at someone um, like VP, um, I feel like this indie devs who can't throw money at them um, uh, yeah, are kind of cheated <laughs> in a way. Yeah. Um, and that's why I really like the devs who take the part in their own hands work on a good experience and so on and so on um, in this way Aspire and Feral is problematic too because the knowledge you need to make a good um, Linux game and to plan from start to the end with Linux in mind isn't transferred if you port it afterwards and that's something we also get very angry when we talk about Kickstarter uh, starter um, I can at least name two games which I wanted to play for a huge amount of time which were promised to have in Linux client but still aren't out. And yeah, so my idea of the games you really should support is Wonderful the nonsense. ones which um, were done by the developer themselves, even they have problems, even they have um, maybe like the City Skylines, um, some FPS problems, or this, or this, or some graphical issues, and so on. These devs are the future of Linux gaming. They learn now. They can make problems. Uh, and in one or two years, they will um, hand it out, and yeah. There's a. That's there's it. a there's a distinction there, uh, though, that we have to remember. A game like this and a game like uh, Borderlands and a game like uh, uh, XCOM and all those AAA titles, uh, yes, the developers have a lot of money, a lot more money to throw at a game. But you still got to remember, like, a lot of these dev teams or porting teams are probably really small and they're not getting a lot of money thrown at them. And the game is super old. So my, my hope is that... If Steam OS or Linux or whatever catches on, that when they build games, like you say, especially with DirectX 12 and Vulkan uh, APIs, which seem to be more cross-compatible because they're lower-level APIs, uh, won't have this problem in the future with new release games. So the older games, I can kind of, kind of uh, say, okay, I understand that this is an older game. It might have problems because it was never built for Linux in mind, especially if it's DirectX 11. The fact that some of these DirectX 11 games are actually playing in Linux is already amazing to me. Um, but, but you're right, like, may, Outland may is ask, great. May I ask the question? When... Um, yes, system, it was RimWorld. I will post in a moment in, in chat. It's not on Steam, so it's not that fine. Um, let me add up to what you said. Um, just a minute ago, um, right. The problem for me is where do we call a game old? 
um, for, for me, this Eon thing in, in my mind was always something where you lost the source code access, where you can't do it um, native, um, where probably even the uh, publisher or the publisher isn't, um, isn't anymore available or whatever. That I would need from you to use Eon and to um, put a huge amount of effort in it. Um, I don't understand why uh, Unreal Engine 3 game, um, where we have a, a few ports already native, needs to use an additional layer run on a Linux system. Um, that's a good question. And since I have no knowledge of... What's the of extra layer? Yeah, what's this extra layer? Eon. Eon is this extra oh, oh. layer. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, but there's Unreal Engine 3 games that don't use the Eon. Like That's um, his point. Oh, why? Okay, gotcha. But why? I, okay. Yeah. I will say this, uh, which I saw from a, a conference. The effect... Many of these games, especially these bigger games like Bioshock, are already using lots of layers. Uh, there's like NVIDIA proprietary layers. There's a uh, there's there's a uh, different tools that are being used, which is a sort of a different layer and, and a technical aspect. And adding one more layer is not a cause for the end of the world, depending on how you look at it. Now, I I understand and support the fact that it should be native. I can do that. Uh, but does it really matter if there's another Stop. layer, if it wasn't Eon? Let's just say if it was another graphical tool layer. Would that matter? Like a tool for mm. the developers. The it just adds, I think it's because it adds an extra layer of complexity. It's almost like, are they making it harder for themselves? No, they're or making it easier. It's yeah, easier. Because so oh, the, tool the, 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 tool the tools that developers use, the develop the tools that developers use are like a lot of them are just layers, so they don't have to build from the ground up. He begs my silence, but I can only offer yeah. him. So probably games like Painkiller, Hell and Damnation, uh, Deadfall Adventures, and those other Unreal Engine 3 games, you know. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah, um, Ubuntu was moved. <laughs> <laughs> troll la <Okay>, la 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's soup. I posted the link to the game inside of Osiris chat because I can't write anything inside of Mumble. Whatever. Um, <laughs> back, Ubuntu asked why I think um, an additional layer sucks. Um, basically, we don't talk about something small like 2GL from Valve. We talk about a complete middleware which emulates all the um, Windows-specific behavior. Uh, sorry, someone, he pulled me out of this room. I just was trying to finish up uh, what I was saying. So was that, la la. Um, <laughs> were, the, were the games, you know, is it because the developers are putting this in the EN wrapper because they're, just, they're worried about their bottom line and spending the least amount of time to get the game to run at a respectable level? You know, so they're just taking the easy route. Just throw it in the unwrapper and we'll be done with it. Versus like what Icholus did, where he ported the game over, you know, like un I'm like uh, Painkiller, Hell and Damnation, uh, Deadfall that Adventures. That wasn't done by Icholus. Let's okay, just whoever, say that uh, sorry. whoever created the Eon wrapper, that couldn't have been easy either. No, that, probably not. Virtual programming did. Yeah, that's my point, which a pro programming shows with Eon how much knowledge they have to make a native part. <laughs> right. I mean, but, 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 but they, they probably had a conference. You know how business works. They had a meeting. They decided on some things. They decided on the cost, the money, the time. And yeah. that's probably how they came to that decision. It's easier to go, or it's cheaper, I should say, to go with Eon wrapper. That's basically probably what it is. Most businesses um, run by their bottom line. Oh, to, be, to, be, to be honest, um, that would have been true in my eyes two years ago, when no one knows how much money is inside of the Linux market. But if a partner like us by a state, they can easily live from their money. 
Uh, I wouldn't say that because I seen a post. I think it was a tweet where they say they they're finally breaking even. Aspire did. It's, is this trim? It's Twitch. Twitch Osiris. Huh? Um. It, no. Aspire said that they basically have now from the Linux market around um, the half of the money that they had for years for the Mac market. Okay, okay. For the same sense. product. Right. That makes um, sense. And they also stated that their business was able to survive just from the Mac market. And uh, second, on the second note, most of the work um, they usually do, they do it first for the Mac and use the knowledge which they have there to transfer it to Linux and only adjust on the small part that is for Linux. Um, really, as much as I really want to give the props to VP for the great job in terms of um, what they did with Bioshock Infinite. It's, um, as you stated, uh, Cyrus did a really good a job, it um, worked, it does the job, it runs um, at good frame rate for most of the people, and um, yeah, it just runs. Um, on the other hand, it sends, in my eyes, the wrong signal out. It sends the signal out to companies like the Tesla, to companies like um, maybe Rockstar, Hey, come on, we can use this uh, layer, we don't need to care for Linux, um, they will do it, and bam, there it is. And the next game we get from WP will be another disaster, like The Witcher 2, probably. Because <laughs> their emulation layer isn't good enough to emulate it. Right, I agree with that 100%, and that's why I, I was saying that uh, I was actually arguing that same point. Uh, but I think that the general consumer, because we're, we're talking about people who, who underst have at least a basic understanding of what we're talking about. But the general, con <laughs> the general consumer is just going to buy it if it works or even if it doesn't work. Like, let's look at it, all the list of just Windows games that don't work that continually get bought year after year after year. Uh, that, that's a consumer market problem. That's a, a consumer intelligence problem. Uh, uh, so I don't know. I don't. I don't. Uh, there's probably not an answer for this because it's too. It's too broad and too gray of a of a matter. Yeah, no, I think so too. It's it's a really it's it's an issue um, which might negative affect the future of Linux gaming, and that's probably why most of the people really care. Why most of the people get angry. Because they see a negative side in it, and they don't want to have this negative uh, possibilities. I don't say they need to happen, but they can happen, and that's where this warning voices, this uh, people who tell you, um, don't buy Eon ports. It might be the wrong way, where they come from. And I think most of them aren't really angry or with VP and the guys behind Eon, which um, sometimes is hard to believe, but I think so. Um, they are angry with the sign to the big companies. The sign that we can have games on Linux in an in, 